variation introduction if the rate of notebooks is rupees 360 per dozen what is the cost of four notebooks also find the cost of six notebooks 18 notebooks and 70 notebooks and complete the following table From the table, we see that the ratio of number of notebooks, x, and their cost, y, in each pair is 1 upon 30. It is constant. The number of notebooks and their cost are in the same proportion. Direct variation. The statement x and y are in the same proportion can be written as x and y are in direct proportion or there is a direct variation between x and y. By using mathematical symbol, it can be written as x is directly proportional to y. Alpha is a Greek letter used to denote variation. x is directly proportional to y is written in the form of equation as x is equal to k into y, where k is a constant x is equal to k into y or x upon y is equal to k is the equation form of direct variation where k is the constant of variation. Observe how the following statements are written using the same symbol of variation. 1. Area of a circle is directly proportional to the square of its radius. If the area of a circle is equal to A and its radius is equal to R, then the given statement is written as A is directly proportional to R square. 2. Pressure of a liquid P varies as the depth D of the liquid. This statement is written as P is directly proportional to D. Examples now we study the following examples to understand the method of symbolic representation of direct variation. 1. If m is directly proportional to n and when m is equal to 154, n is equal to 7, find the value of m when n is equal to 4. Solution. m is directly proportional to n given. That is, M varies directly as Y. Therefore, M is equal to K into N. K is constant of variation. It is given that when M is equal to 154, then N is equal to 7. Hence, we will find K. M is equal to K into N. Therefore, 154 is equal to K into 7. Therefore, k is equal to 154 upon 7. Therefore, k is equal to 22. Constant of variation. Therefore, equation of variation is m is equal to 22n. Now, we will find the value of m when n is equal to 14. Therefore, m is equal to 22 into 14. Therefore, m is equal to 308. 2. Y varies directly as square root of x when x is equal to 16 and y is equal to 24. Find the constant of variation and equation of variation. Solution. It is given that y varies directly as square root of x. Therefore, y is directly proportional to square root of x. Therefore, y is equal to k into square root of x. k is constant of variation. It is given that when x is equal to 16, then y is equal to 24. Hence, we will find k. y is equal to k into square root of x. Therefore, 24 is equal to k into square root of 16. Therefore, 24 is equal to k into 4 as square root of 16 is equal to 4. Therefore, k is equal to 24 upon 4. 
Therefore, k is equal to 6. Constant of variation. Therefore, equation of variation is y is equal to 6 square root of x. 3. The total remuneration paid to laborers employed to harvest soya bean is in direct variation with the number of laborers. If remuneration of 4 laborers is rupees 1000, find the remuneration of 17 laborers. Solution Let the remuneration be x and laborers be y. It is given that x varies directly as y. Therefore, x is directly proportional to y. Therefore, x is equal to k into y. k is constant of variation. It is given that when x is equal to 1000, then y is equal to 4. Hence, we will find k. x is equal to ky. Therefore, 1000 is equal to 4k. Therefore, k is equal to 1000 upon 4. Therefore, k is equal to 250, constant of variation. Therefore, equation of variation is x is equal to 250y. Now, we will find the remuneration of 17 laborers. That is, we will find the value of x when y is equal to 17. x is equal to 250y. Therefore, x is equal to 250 into 17. Therefore, x is equal to 4,250 rupees. Inverse variation. The statement x is inversely proportional to y can also be expressed as there is inverse variation in x and y. If x and y are in inverse proportion, x into y is constant. Assuming the constant to be k, it is easy to solve a problem. If x varies inversely as y, then x into y is constant. x varies inversely as y is written as x is inversely proportional to y. If x is inversely proportional to y, x is equal to k upon y or x into y is equal to k. This is the equation of variation. k is the constant of variation. Time work speed. Examples related to the number of workers and time taken to finish the work are of inverse variation. Similarly, there are some examples related to the time taken to cover a distance by a vehicle and its uniform speed. Such examples of variation are the examples related to time, work and speed. Now we will see how to solve such examples of variation. Examples 1. If 15 workers can build a wall in 48 hours, how many workers will be required to do the same work in 30 hours? Solution the number of hours related to build a wall is inversely proportional to the number of workers. Let the number of hours be h and number of workers be w. h is inversely proportional to w. Therefore, h is equal to k upon w. k is constant of variation. Therefore, h into w is equal to k. If W is equal to 15, then H is equal to 48. Therefore, 48 into 15 is equal to K. Therefore, K is equal to 720, constant of variation. Now, let us find W when H is equal to 30. Therefore, H into W is equal to K. Therefore, 30 into W is equal to 720. Therefore, W is equal to 720 upon 30. Therefore, W is equal to 24. Therefore, 24 workers will be required. 2. 120 bags of half litre milk can be filled by a machine within 3 minutes. Find the time to fill such 1800 bags. Solution 
Let the number of bags be x and required time be y. It is given that x varies directly as y. Therefore, x is proportional to y. Therefore, x is equal to ky. k is constant of variation. It is given that when x is equal to 120, then y is equal to 3. Hence, we will find k. x is equal to ky. Therefore, 120 is equal to 3k. Therefore, k is equal to 120 upon 3. Therefore, k is equal to 40. Constant of variation. Therefore, equation of variation is x is equal to 40y. Now, let us find y when x is equal to 1800. x is equal to 40y. Therefore, 1800 is equal to 40y. Therefore, y is equal to 1800 upon 40. Therefore, y is equal to 45. Therefore, 45 minutes will require. 3. A car with speed 60 kilometers per hour takes 8 hours to travel some distance. What should be the increase in the speed if the same distance is to be covered in 7.5 hours? Solution let us assume the speed of vehicle to be s and time taken to travel be t. There is inverse variation in speed and time. Therefore, s is inversely proportional to t. Therefore, s is equal to k upon t. k is constant of variation. Therefore, s into t is equal to k. Therefore, 60 into 8 is equal to k. Therefore, k is equal to 480. Therefore, equation of variation is st is equal to 480. Now, let us find s when t is equal to 7.5. s into t is equal to k. Therefore, s into 7.5 is equal to 480. Therefore, s into 15 upon 2 is equal to 480. Therefore, s is equal to 480 into 2 upon 15 is equal to 32 into 2 is equal to 64, therefore s is equal to 64. A car with speed 64 kilometers per hour takes 7.5 hours. Therefore, 4 kilometers per hour should be increased in the speed to cover same distance.